Guys, 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 welcome back to yet another video. I am Aviation Gamers. Today we are gonna talk into a very interesting topic, but before that, I am really very sorry because I was not able to upload video for these many days and because of a little thing called exam. Actually, it's not a little thing, it is a big thing because it is the mid term exams. So, today we are um, gonna talk about a very interesting topic which is how Indigo could win over its Mega A21 order. So, let's get right into the video. Indigo made a huge splash in October 2019 when it placed an order for 300 AC20 Neo family aircraft. Notably, the order includes the new AC21 XLR, the longest range narrow body aircraft ever proposed. Here's why Indigo could win its upcoming AC21 XLR fleet. The new version of the AC21 Neo, the AC21 XLR, offers an impressive 4,700 nautical miles of range, far surpassing any current narrow bodies. For comparison, the longest range Boeing 737 MAX, the MAX 7, offers a range of 3,850 nautical miles but only seats up to 150. Meanwhile, the larger MAX 10 has a capability of similar to the A321 XLR but only has a range of 3,300 nautical miles. The A321 XLR's range gives airlines the opportunity to start new routes that weren't possible with narrow bodies. The plane also allows low-cost airlines to go to long-haul destinations, a market they have traditionally struggled in. Indigo is one such airline looking to leverage the range of the A321 to expand its market. Indigo's orders for 300 A320 Neo family aircraft last year is divided into 87 A320 Neos and 213 A321 Neos. However, Indigo and Airbus have been tight-lipped about how many of the AC21s will be of XLR variants. Regardless of exact number, we can expect Indigo to use the new plane on variety of international routes. The range of the H21 XLR means that long-haul routes in Europe, Asia and Africa are suddenly a possibility for Indigo's Delhi hub. The range of the A321 XLR means that long-haul routes in Europe, Asia and Africa are suddenly a possibility for Indigo's Delhi hub. This includes the likes of London, Paris, Tokyo, Addis Ababa and even Darwin, Australia. While Indigo hasn't announced any potential routes, its long-haul ambitions have been well documented in articles. Indigo has previously considered wide-body aircraft to fly routes to long-haul cities such as London only to decide against investing in the larger jet. However, the H21 XLR is far more efficient than any wide-body making such destinations more economically feasible. Despite being rapidly growing market in India has suffered from a shortage of homegrown international airlines to meet the demand instead of losing out to foreign competitors in this market. While Indigo does hold a substantial part of the medium haul market, there are still no low-cost alternatives on longer flights. The addition of the H21 XLR will allow Indigo to enter and possibly capture a whole new segment. While this year's prices impact future growth, Indigo CEO predicts a long recovery, particularly for international flights. The first A321 XLR isn't expected to take off to the skies until at least 2023, with many hurdles to clear before that. However, when it does fly, the plane could reshape the industry. 